Welcome to our WooCommerce Development Guide. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with product variations. Our viewer is using the WooCommerce Net Library to sync products from an ERP database to a WooCommerce eShop. They want to know how to add product variations with multiple attributes like size and color. Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has successfully added attributes for size and color, but when they attempt to create variations, they run into an error. The error message indicates a type mismatch, suggesting that the variations attribute of the product expects a list of variation IDs instead of the variation objects themselves. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To add product variations in WooCommerce using the WooCommerce Net Library, we first need to ensure that we have defined our product attributes correctly. In this case, we have attributes for color and size. Next, we will create a list of variation attributes. Each variation will include the specific options for color and size. Let's look at how to set this up in code. Now we will create a variation object. This object will include details such as the price, stock quantity, and the attributes we just defined. After creating the variation, we need to add it to a list of variations. We will repeat this process for each combination of attributes you want to create. Finally, we will create the product object, ensuring to set its type to variable and include the list of variations we created. This is how we can add the product with variations to WooCommerce. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To add product variations with multiple attributes, start by creating the product with its attributes. Then, create the variation using the product ID. Finally, update the product to include the new variation. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.